I thank you very much. Question one. How and when did you get into music? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I got into music when I was like a little kid and started just messing around with it in elementary school. Picked up electric guitar when I was like 14 and then there was no looking back. Hmm. <laughs> I think for me, I was probably like nine, ten years old, my older brother Jake, and just constantly sitting in his room and listening to music because we had nothing better to do. <laughs> and then learning music? Yeah, and then stuff. just eventually, yeah, learning music. Mm. Got my guitar, I think, when well, I was like 16, um, so that's six years ago. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. That's a good time to, to really get proficient in an instrument, too. Um, okay, what about the band, though? That's you guys. What about the Handicapitalists? Mm, let's see. That been yeah. just over two years since July. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. it all started with Icky and I were yeah. roommates, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. yeah, we were just talking for like months about like, hey, we should start a band, hey, we should start a band, hey, we should start a band. Finally got around to it. Finally. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually suck. Band yeah. an electronic drum set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I guess, metal. when did, when did, what about you? When yeah, did you uh, I remember you? running into Jared, uh, it was at someone's party or something, we were talking about playing music, and you just came the next week. <laughs> Showed up. Been there ever yeah. since. But, uh, like I have a bass guitar. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The vocalist, the vocalist was the rough patch, yeah. but uh, eventually, you know, Clay came around and yeah, it was a yeah. perfect fit. Yeah, I've been playing music in the uh, in Atlanta for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, and they need a singer. I've always wanted to be a singer. I thought that was cool. I always did everything yeah. else, and always wanted. To. I was like, finally, this opportunity presented itself, and luckily, I was lucky enough to know Icky, and uh, and he brought me on board. And, and it's, it's really been one of the most satisfying projects I've been a part of. That's awesome. My yeah, y'all y'all all really fit cohesively, yeah. yeah. energy yeah. wise and musically. And it's yeah, cool I love these guys. I'm very Thank happy, you. very blessed to know these guys. Very happy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. Okay, number two. We got to move on. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of your favorite artists and in inspiration? Uh, oh god, we have a lot of different. Like, Icky, take yours. You go. Ahead. All right. Everyone so do their for top me, three. Top, top, top three. Top, yeah, at least. All right. Uh, I'd say Atrocity Solution. Crumb Bums and then Operation Ivy Ooh. were my three cool. top influences. Cool. Top, top influences. Okay. There's so many. There's so I know. Many. I know. <laughs> okay. okay, those so, are good three. The, what got me started was Guns N' Roses and Slipknot and Megadeth. Oh, oh classic. Yeah, I will echo that statement. Guns N' Roses, Megadeth, and I'll go with uh, Otis Redding and Michael Jackson. That's it. <laughs> I'll put one more in there. I'll put one more in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I also enjoy Op Ivy and. Um, I actually come from like a metal background, so Veil of Maya, and I'd have to say <sighs> Avenged Sevenfold. Oh, yeah, it's basically Avenged a lot more complicated music than what we actually play. <laughs> 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 but it's good to take influence from all sorts. Absolutely. So that makes sense. Yeah. And Vic's very technical with drumming. Very. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Okay, question number three. What is the message that you intend to send through your music? Hmm. I feel like it kind of naturally became what the name was and just being always stuck with dealing with money problems mm -hmm. like being like lower class and just working your way through yeah yeah definitely you know but uh and i think I it's just about yeah. <laughs> i think also uh we write music that that lets us escape our crazy lives as well and the crazy lives that the system has built for us you know kind of surrounds us and it's really our freedom when we when we get there and play our music it's our escape from from their system, you know yeah. what I'm saying? From that world. Beautifully put. Create our own world. <laughs> yeah, okay. I yeah. Dig, I enjoy dig. that we satirize kind of like politics and mm -hmm. upper yeah, class. Yeah, that's true, upper class society, we have, yeah. We have like serious political messages that are usually in disagreement with things that are currently going on, but mm -hmm. we uh -huh. make it all a joke because, I mean, that's what it really is. You gotta is. laugh sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor about it all. Okay, yeah, so instead of being angry about it. Yeah, we don't like to take ourselves too seriously, as you'll yeah, see in our performance. <laughs> Maybe a little rough, that's but awesome. you know. That's all awesome. good. We made it through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, on to number four. Do you have any guilty pleasure music? Oh uh, gosh, I don't know. Pop so many. I probably first? have so many. I couldn't say which one is the best. I'll think about it a second. Go ahead, somebody else. Uh, I'm really into Duran Duran. Oh, oh yes, good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. 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 They've got some funky bass lines. I love that shit. Oh, mine would probably be Billy Idol, man. Oh, really? I love Billy okay. Idol. Yeah. <laughs> what are you I honestly don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> in there. Taylor Swift. Swift. I'm yeah. sure there's something in there. We know it's Taylor Katie Swift. Perry. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like. 
<laughs> Maybe some like Hank Williams, oh, like yeah, Hank yeah. Williams third. Well, you know, what's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. More that's some good country. shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. some folk. Yeah, oh, I love folk music too. Mm -hmm. okay. I have to be completely honest. I guess what would be a guilty pleasure in the punk scene. Uh -huh. Dude, I love me some sleeping with sirens, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> but in general, I guess I would have to say this group called Chase Atlantic. Jeez, They're right really cringy, dude. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know like, how <laughs> their music is cringy, but I need mean, the beats. It's that kind of thing. It's like the beats. It hits a certain over. spot that you need. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Beautifully put. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Number five. Where have you performed, and what's your favorite venue? Like I, I think for mm. Atlanta, my favorite is the Highlander. But mm -hmm. elsewhere, like I really like the Sparrow and Charleston. The Sparrow is always yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, We always have a great show state. there. Cool. Yeah, some of the best shows I have had in my entire career have probably been at the Sparrow or at the Highlander. The Highlander mm -hmm. in Atlanta, Sparrow in where is it? North Carolina, South Carolina, South Carolina, Charleston. But you know, there's so many places I haven't played, but I've been to a few good places. Uh, ABC No Rio in New York was really badass. The kids up there were amazing, but it was one of the hottest shows I've ever played. And that, was, yeah. that was a while back. Was it a house show? Or it was uh, some kind Art? of in, some kind of DIY venue, oh, all ages cool. type thing, right in the yeah, heart yeah. of Brooklyn, man. Beautiful, uh, or something like that. I think so. Somebody's gonna tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> but somewhere in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Right in the melting pot. I'm sure that was a cool spot. It was cool, man. My first, it was one of my first times in New York and walking around. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. Pretty cool place. Yeah, it's really hectic. Yeah. Yes. Very different. Um, number six. How would you describe the music that you typically typically create? Hmm. Gosh. Uh, it's uh, experimental. Mm. Um, yeah, especially because we all we like we were saying earlier, we all have different influences. Yeah, mm. but but always with the punk spirit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we're it's not afraid to experiment and go play with different styles and different genres and mm -hmm. mix it up, you know. Um, we don't. I don't know if we actually have. But one of our signature sounds is more like I guess. It's like a ska punk, ska punk, ska yeah. punk ish. Right? Some could, might, maybe crack rock steady, you know. Yeah. We, we have a couple of songs in the works that sound a little more crack rock steady, but nothing. Oh ever six to one thing for too long. Yeah, we right. branch out a lot, I feel yeah. like. That, that's really healthy, Honestly, though. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. at one point, we kind of like put together this label that we called ourselves Blackened Ska Punk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blackened yeah. Ska Punk. That's true. But even that, even that paints us to a corner, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I guess so. Blackened kind of addresses the thrashiness of our music. It's yeah. Blackened mm -hmm. because even you went through the black metal phase when we were writing like I know. And then a lot yeah, of, like, true. I got to whip out the double bass. I love yeah. some black metal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but black and ska punk. So ska was, punk with metal basically, influence. Basically, I was on my way to kill Euronymous when we yeah. decided to call it black and ska punk. <laughs> that's, <okay. laughs> that's, that's for the records. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Number seven is what is your creative process like? Uh, Icky will have a riff, or I'll have a riff, and we'll just play off that, and one will add something, and the other will add something, and everything is kind of a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Also, drugs. Yeah, okay. mind altering, so but you'll marry, especially psychedelics. Marry you want it. This man loves psychedelics. He can take yeah. it. He can handle that shit. I can barely handle it, but you know, <laughs> it's good though. I, I I'm a proponent. I, I I think people should definitely do psychedelics uh, on a regular basis. <laughs> Scrub that third eye clean, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gain your sight. <laughs> okay, on to number eight. I heard you guys enjoy Nintendo games. Absolutely. Who are your yeah. favorite Super Smash Bros. characters? Oh, good choice. Uh, uh, I Link, Sorry. Link. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Link for Damn, sure. I'd have to say, oh god, I don't know, man. I don't play enough of that. But the I'm Marth, uh, Dark Pit or Marth, I think. Yeah, Dark, okay. Marth. Ooh, Dark Marth. Pit. Yeah, yeah, I like Link. Dark Pit. I also like Sam. <coughs> Sam, but mostly Link. Zelda's oh, and of course Kirby, man. That's my classic, classic. Yeah, of yeah, all time. Classic. But you know, Captain Falcon's eye. But you know, I'm not that good. He's the mad. He's the master. <laughs> no, no, the other roommate was. They're way better. <laughs> Very cool. Anyway, but great game though, love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Lots of fun. Okay, got any favorite Ninja Turtles? Uh, yeah, mine is Raphael. <laughs> 
Michelangelo, dude. Yeah, I think, sure. I, I think I was about Michelangelo, too. Cowabunga. It says a lot about your personality. The two red yeah. saber. Like, the question size, was, yeah. who's your favorite ninja turtle? Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm a rat in the Chinese Zodiac. So oh, I'm oh, like, that's a good choice. Very good choice. Very yeah. good choice. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Yeah. I see it awesome, dude. Fuck that's fixed. Yeah. It's a pot. It's a pot. Right. Soya. Okay. The last question I have for y'all. Is there any new music coming? Oh, yeah, definitely. Lots of it. Coming, coming up. We're about to release a brand new album coming up within a month of today. Within a month or month and a half. To this day, we're making a release date for October sometime. You're in here for Only like a year later. Our album, no, our album, our first album's coming out. We've already written all the material for a second Seven album. Hours. So once this one comes out, we're working on the second. But once this first one comes out, we're really proud of it and very happy to have these songs for people to listen to. We, we feel it makes us happy when we listen to it, and we want people to be happy. Yeah, at the moment, we're like it. struggling to keep up with all the new music. Yeah, yeah. lots of new music right. coming. That's people right. people, people have been coming to us before we even were like ready to make an album, asking for an album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that feels really good to kind of have a little bit of a demand before we even took the initiative to get it going. So, yeah, it's coming, y'all. It's coming. It's on the way. <laughs> it's here, coming right? soon, very soon. Yeah, you October heard release date. Maybe how Coming to a hood near you, girl. <laughs> be on the lookout. Visit us at uh, Handicapolis, you know, Facebook and Instagram, Instagram. all that stuff. Yeah. Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Smash that like button! I, thank you, <laughs> Subscribe! Well, thank Follow me on Twitter, Twitch! <laughs> all the streaming services. Christian thank y'all for coming in for this Kite High House <laughs> live session. No, thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah, thanks for being the first full band and, and uh, bringing a lot of energy and heat. Great experience. Yeah. We recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. Really good. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. Very cool. <laughs> cool. Alright, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Peace.